For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. This is the brush here. Um, as you can see from this side, the angles are going up into this point right here. It's kind of hard to tell when it's that way. But um, this is what it looks like from this side. Kind of, it's like a pentagon shape. And then as you can see, these are like little angles here. The brush that I'm going to be kind of comparing it to, I'm going to compare it to two brushes actually. These are the two brushes that I usually go to. This is the Sigma F88 and the Sigma F80. Now, with these brushes, I feel like you can stipple them onto your skin. This one, you can do buffing motions and buff it into your skin. Um, this is the one that I use mainly, and the reasoning behind that is because it has this angle here that I can get under my eye area like this, and I don't have to switch my brush when I add my concealer. Um, it's honestly just a personal preference. It's not like everybody has to be like that, but that's what I like in a brush. Um, so that's why I don't usually use this brush because I feel like it's harder for me to get into the under eye area and even when it does get under there I have a hard time blending out the concealer because I feel like I have to like I don't know it's just easier to use this one so I'm going to be trying this I think this is really unique and different and I'm interested to see how it works underneath my eye area so, I'm going to be using my YSL Touche Claw Foundation. I am in the shade BD40. I usually use two pumps for my entire face. So I'm going to go in with this. I can already tell between the difference between these three brushes here is that these two you can stipple where this one I have a feeling you're not going to really have that stippling effect. It's going to be more swiping. It's just it's just kind of how it seems to be. So I'm going to try both ways. I'm going to stipple on this side and swipe on this side. Oh, that's cool. I like that I can kind of go down and then switch up and go up and kind of like paint it like a paintbrush. Um, I think that's really cool. So I did get a fuller coverage on this side. Obviously when you stipple anything you are going to get a fuller coverage. And this side I did get a thinner coverage. You probably can't really tell on camera. But I feel like if I wasn't breaking out I would like the more swiping side better. Um, but you can do either one with this brush. It's not like you can do only the swiping. You can definitely stipple with it too. Um, I really like the finish on this side. I am going to finish the rest of my face now with it. Um, I feel like you can also do like little like dragging, like it's kind of hard to explain, but like pushing it in and then quickly picking it up, just like little swiping motions. I feel like that's really cool. It's like its own application. It's not like you have to pick buffing it in or stippling it in or swiping. I feel like it's got its own technique with the way this is shaped. I'm just going to get a little bit more foundation, one more pump, just so I can cover the rest of this area. I am breaking out over here, so that's why. And then I'm breaking out of my neck, so I'm covering that up. Yeah, I feel like when you stipple, you definitely want to stipple on one of the flat angled sides. You don't want to stipple it straight on because it has this, like, ridge here. It's like a line, and... I just feel like it feels weird if you stipple it that way. So if you're going to stipple, stipple it on the side.
is easy to get around my nose and all the crevices. That's nice. And around my brows, it's really nice. That's one thing I don't like about these two brushes is that when I go in between here, I feel like I hit my brows no matter what. It doesn't really matter because it doesn't really like mess them up a lot. It's not that obvious, but this is really nice because it fits right in there and it doesn't hit my brow. So that is nice. I'm going to go in with my Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC, put one pump on the back of my hand, and then I'm going to put this underneath my eyes and cover up any of my blemishes with it and use that brush and see if it really can live up to my F88 from Sigma. This is the shade NW20. Sometimes I use NW15, just depends on my mood. NW20 like matches my skin perfectly. Ooh, I really like going to the side like this and blending it out that way. That is really nice. And it fits right here, like a vertical line so you don't get it like all on your nose. Because typically with concealer, if you're going to go brighter, which today I'm not, but if you are, sometimes I feel like it's annoying with your brush because it can get all over on your nose and highlight that area too. And it kind of just defeats the highlighting purpose of this area. So... If you lay it horizontally and push it and swipe it this way or pat it this way, I feel like I really like that. And it doesn't ruin my eyeliner either. It's like the perfect shape for this. Okay. Get this side. And if you wanted, you could do it this way too. It fits that way nicely too, but I mean, I really like it if you turn it to the side. I'm just going to set the rest of my face using the F20 Large Powder Brush from Sigma. <laughs> I'm just going to finish up the rest of my makeup. The finish of the 3D HD Kabuki Brush isn't like too much different than the F80 and the F88 in my opinion. Um, but the application was very simple. It was very easy. I've honestly seen a lot of mixed reviews on YouTube and I like it. I give it a 10 out of 10. Um, I keep dropping everything. I've seen a lot of mixed reviews on YouTube about this brush. A lot of people are kind of like, I don't know. I like it. I give it a 10 out of 10, five stars. It's great. Um, I really do like it. Um, I suggest that you try it as well. I will put a link down below to where you can purchase it. I do have a discount code for the month of November, so please check that out. Click the link, put in the code, and you will get 10% off. Also, let me know down below if you want to see a full in-depth video on brushes. Brushes I suggest, different brands, where you can get them, just all about brushes let me know if that's something that you want to see because i've been thinking about doing a video like that i've had a couple of requests before but just thumbs up this video and let me know down below in the comments what you think about it let me know if you've tried out the 3d hd brush yourself and if you like it let me know your thoughts down below i would love to hear what you guys have to say so thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye Chapstick, chapstick, looking for my chapstick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Look at my brain. Oh my.